if your cryptocurrency isn't having updates, upgrades, modifications, forks, if you want to call them, um, it's a dead cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is always in stages of upgrades and updates, as as most cryptocurrencies are. Um, you can't expect it to always be the same. Could there be another method in the future? Could there be some other process in the future? Absolutely, there could be. Could there be one that's that that spreads it out again as Satoshi's original vision of us all having this running on our own machine and and having the miner and have the blockchain. There's a lot of things that go along with that. I mean, you got to sync everything. You got to have a fully indexed node um, so you can have a source to be able to mine from that history to validate those transactions. I mean, there's lots of things that have to go into it, but anything is possible. If I were to say nothing is going to change, I think you could slap me in the face because that's a lie. Mm -hmm. There can be all sorts of goodness that comes to all blockchains, including Bitcoin, including Divi, um, whatever, whatever blockchain you put in there, there should be change. And if one further distributed the network so it was further decentralized and still provided that same stability um, of, of the security of the blockchain, because that's the other thing that, that the pools to provide, that massive amount of hashing power has to, you know, it, it's, it's immutable at that point after so many blocks it's constantly becoming more and more immutable, but Bitcoin is so difficult to mine that it is it is nigh unattackable. It's just it, it's an embarrassing that somebody would actually say it could potentially be just not possible. So could it get yeah. better? Absolutely, it could. It could. Oh, it will. Who knows? Oh, it will. That's, that's yeah, yeah. I'm also thing. not of the opinion that uh, Satoshi's paper is like a Bible. I, I I think you know, 15 years have passed. Things have changed. I think. I think change definitely should happen. It should happen with uh, consternation, like and care. Sure. Um, and I think you know, ten years later, twenty years later, fifty years later, I think there are going to be ideas that were assumed or stated in that paper that are not relevant yeah. or, or can be better, uh, perform better in a different way. So, I, I, you know, that may be heresy to some people, but that's. That's the way I kind of think about the paper. I don't think anything should be set in stone well, I, uh, and that things have to change with, with the times. Well, I think that the fact that you would say that it's not heresy means we have to drop you off this call. Okay, bye. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is that there are, there, there are people in, in, in Bitcoin per se that are so religious about Bitcoin that they're that that, that I, I should say I've heard because I I don't know a person who's actually edited the code and tried to make pull requests on it in any specific area regarding this comment, but the word on the street I should say is that there are certain devs that are fearful of editing Satoshi code. They don't want to they don't want to change it yet. We're on version what twenty seven of Bitcoin Core. Um, yeah. you know, so it's been changed since then. Did my hand pop up? Look at that. I don't know why my it hand did. is there. Look at your hand. Why did yeah, my hand pop up? Look at that. I have my hand. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, what are you doing there? I'm like, I have no arm. idea. There we go. My hand <laughs> okay. is gone. Um, you know, so <laughs> I, I was weird. I don't even know why I picked it up. Um, <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> we shouldn't have fear of cleaning up code. Right, that was one of the things that random string went through was touching code. Some of it Bitcoin, some of it Litecoin slash Dash slash Pivx, some of it the integrations from Peercoin. Some of these, some of these things that were in here were made by people before. If there was a fear of cleaning it up, we wouldn't have the blockchain that we have yeah. today that we're building all these features on. You should always be looking at what you have. What the difference would be is that I would stress is that the philosophy shouldn't change unless that philosophy turns out to be a negative. And what Satoshi was philosophically focused on was freedom through that communication protocol, which was represented as a value transfer protocol, now a store of value. Freedom from 
people manipulating systems that controlled other people. He brought freedom to people. So when we start when we start expressing it like that, where we all have the option to participate, or at least we all have the option to see and then vet what's going on, we all have the option to use, we all have the freedom to use censorship free. We all have those freedoms. That's a philosophy. Divi is a, a Divi, Divi and Bitcoin. They're communication protocols. It's just that, that how they communicate tends to be by value transfer or store of value.